hey welcome back to the channel guys today i'm going to do something um that's like a one pot meal uh if you're jamaican you know it's caesar rice uh this is one of the one pot meals that we do and today i want to do it with the um the quinoa instead of the rice So I have a pack of quinoa here. I'm going to use, I don't know if I'm going to use all of it, right? But I'm going to wash it. First you have to wash your quinoa and um, drain it. And then put it in a pot without any oil. Get the pot hot, throw the quinoa in there and periodically just stir it. So what you're actually doing is toasting the quinoa. So you just continue periodically just stirring, stirring, stirring until you feel like they're toasted enough. And then that's the first step. So you really just need um, cold water, right? Regular tap water to wash your quinoa. So the measurement for quinoa when you're cooking it is one cup of quinoa to two cups of water. So now I'm just gonna wash. So you'll find some of them floating, but that's okay. Normally, I would have been rubbing these between my two hands, right? That's more effective. Just like when we were washing rice, just pick some up and then just rub it between our two hands. Now, I'm just doing this because I'm holding the camera. <laughs> Actually, I'm holding my phone. So I'm going to put the, the phone down so that I can give it a good wash and I'll come back. So here I have the quinoa draining. And I am going to put it in the hot pot right now. So the pot is on, right? It's hot. And there's no oil in it. So I'm going to pour it in. And then start to stir. If you don't stir and you have it just sitting in the bottom of the pot, it's going to burn. And you're going to have them black black all over the place. So just remember to periodically come and stir. Quinoa is good for you, you know. Come on. I know we have been using it. The way it's used now, we kind of think of it as a grain, but it's more like seeds. Hmm? Yeah, it's more like seeds. But trust me, you're getting a fiber with this. You're getting nutrients. You're getting antioxidants. Right? So now I'm going to put this pot over here. So I can saute my seasonings to make the liquid portion of my And sometimes a piece of pepper. And then I'm going to put up this thing and I'm putting there too. Everything already wash. And when you buy your first time or you cut your first time, if you grow it, that is the time when you wash it. You wash it and then dry it, right? That's what I do. I find that's easier. So we're doing this one pot meal. Put this one I'm going to saute this. So tomato from the garden, you know. You don't have to put tomato, but you can. Put whatever you can get from your colorful foods, you know. I mean, we have all gotten really so conscious about, well, not all, but you know, we're getting there. But quite a bit of us people I'm talking Quite a bit of us have gotten more conscious about what we eat, you know, how we are combining our foods and our vegetable and, you know, yeah. So I think that's a good thing. So I have some oil in the pot um, being heated up and I'm going to put the seasoning in this so that it can begin sauteing. You hear the sound? Yeah, 
that's how the quinoa uh, sounds when you're toasting it. It pops. Yeah. I remember, you know, so this hot pepper I have in here. Remember, the seeds are exposed, so you have to be careful. Okay, I can stay in there too long. Kind of taste the pot. And just make sure it's not too hot. When we say hot in Jamaica, we mean pepper hot. Other parts of the world, especially I know in the US here, I tend to say spicy. That took some getting used to for me because spicy, I used to spice bun. Spice to me meant those kind of flavors like um, cinnamon and all kind, those kind of flavors. That's what spice meant to me. But here, I say spicy is when it's hot. So I'm going to turn the stove down so that really sautés and not just dry out or get burnt. So you can see it now, look. It tells the difference in the colors. Yeah, some are getting darker. So um, the toasting is just not willy-nilly, you know. The toasting is actually to take away a possible um, slightly bitter taste if you don't wash and then toast your quinoa. So wash and toast to um, get rid of that bitter, bitterish taste that you will sometimes get if you don't do that. So you can tell that they're toasting. Almost done now. The toasting part of it that is. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut up the pumpkin. But today I'm actually going to peel it after I take out these seeds. Peel the pumpkin dice it up right so i'm gonna wash it peel it and then dice it up and then put it in the pot i believe it's time now when the pumpkin cooked and the pot is seasoned to taste and everything then we can put the quinoa in just like you would put your rice in at that time i have two cups of quinoa therefore i call for what four cups of water and i put an extra cup because the pumpkin will have to be cooked and then by the time that gets cooking some of the water would have um dried out you know so i've been nearer to my actual four cups that i need for the two cups of quinoa so um you can either use a knife to get this part out or you could just use a spoon sometimes we just use a spoon it's soft enough this part of it and we just kind of spoon it out comes up nice and clean this now let's get some format to this in Jamaica we say what a pretty piece of pumpkin <laughs> cut it a little bit smaller seem to be easier to handle Okay, peeled, washed, ready to go. kind of curious to see how it's gonna work with the um, quinoa because I've never tried doing seasoned rice with quinoa before but you know because the consistency is not like regular like rice you know so I, I always wonder about that as well as I also wonder about um, doing rice and peas with quinoa how would it hold up you know but nothing tried nothing done right when i try i'll find out so cubes and so this is what we have so in the pot they go and then as you put them in now you just 
kind of stir that in and you're gonna allow it to cook or near to being fully cooked you know it doesn't have to be totally cooked because it's still gonna have some time with the quinoa in there being cooked and then the pumpkin will finish um, cooking let me find this pepper seed a piece of pepper because one of the worst things is you put pepper in the pot and you forget to take it out and when you're eating your food is you get the pepper and you're biting it Woo! oh it's bubbling i'm gonna turn down the stove a little bit i want it dry out without my thing reaching the point of cooking that it should be at so i'm gonna turn on the stove a little bit but yep it's on its way believe me i know i'm in a light jacket i'm in michigan it's fall i had to stop and run out so i just came back so we can finish up this quinoa season rice my protein is gonna be aki so i tell and then i'm using some noodle in it i'm gonna blend it up and then because i don't want the whole you know like soup the noodles sticking out in it no so i'm just gonna put it in here in this bullet grace noodle so i'm gonna, gonna dump it in here I wonder if this this don't feel like it is the, the right one. Oh my gosh. No, it don't. Hold on. It feel foreign. I oh know it it's the wrong one. Okay, let's try this one. First of all, before I pour it in there, let's try it. Aye, aye, aye. Find where it belongs. Mince this up so clear nice. And I'm just gonna dump this in the pot. So many seasons carry salt in them. So you want to, if you're gonna use certain things, you put them in first and have that really saturate your mixture so you can judge and see how much more salt you need to add and if you are someone that takes blood pressure medicine look learn to eat fresh food you know you can still be flavorful add your, your garlic and all them things to bring up your flavor but um really watch that salt intake because really don't do anything more than push up your blood pressure yeah waterfall of salt you know i'm going to taste this mm, let me taste it the pepper in the man i'm going to turn on the stove first of all turn on the stove and what's my foot tonight does it taste pretty good i can take a little bit of my salt but someone that's eating this is not on blood pressure medicine but they're trying to make sure they don't have to be put on blood pressure medicine so we're monitoring blood pressure so we're going to avoid putting more salt in this so i'm gonna add the acid to it i like to rinse it under some running hot water or sometimes i'll just boil some water and just let it sit in it and boil for a few minutes not too long you know to Jamaicans, let's call it off. Okay. I can still see a few pieces of my pumpkin. Yeah, some of it gonna get too soft, but there we go. Alright, so let's cook for a little bit. So the ackee was already cooked, you know. 
I'm just adding the quinoa. Yay! You realize how the color changed? I'm gonna stir it in. And see. Definitely wanna see how this comes out. Whichever way, I'm eating it. <laughs> cover this and turn the stove down i did it guys pot lun inspect inspect yay it's a one i think it is a bit on the moist side yeah normally season rice is not that shelly we don't usually do season rice very dry or shelly a little bit of clumpy you know not soft but yeah but um i think the quinoa i don't know if it can get drier or if it could be drier but it cook and i'm pleased with it tastes good too it tastes terrible you know had to taste it so let's plate it there it is what if you could smell it a eh? and the amount of pepper remember i left that pepper in there boiling for a little bit so it's hot, it's spicy, but it's nice. Ooh, I'm gonna get down into this. Whoa, quinoa season. Well, seasoned quinoa, right? After the fashion of seasoned rice, but this is no rice, no meat. Nice vegetarian lick. Yeah, man. I did it, guys, I did it. Look at my quinoa, seasoned quinoa. Very happy old turnout. Maybe it could be less moist, but it's nice. And then it's a different um, texture thing, you know, than rice. So I don't expect that it would have come out exactly the texture of rice. I can't wait to go into it. This is nice. Tasted it, man. Pepper rice too. See you next time, guys. Try it and let me know. Oh my god. Not too bad, though. Yeah, because truly, my very first time doing it. So I'm kind of proud of it come out. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.